All right, so to experiment with compile, let's uh, create a new folder here called QTest and move into QTest. So right now we don't have anything. So let's create an index and a style sheet. So now we can open these in our editor. In index, I'm just going to add div demo. And to the styles, I'm going to add a container query. Well, first I'm going to add a regular div rule. Margin 1m. Uh, border. Now I'm going to add container query for all div elements that happen to find themselves wider than 500 pixels. And for those, we want to include this style sheet. So we have a div in our HTML. We have one CSS rule, and we have one container query. So if we hop back over to compile, let's say compile index.html with CSS styles.css. Now it's just going to run a webless browser um, from a range of 1 pixel to 2,000 pixels and take snapshots every 100 uh, pixels. If you can see it's modified our HTML, here's our original div. If it uh, that container query applies, it adds a an attribute to target that and then for each uh, snapshot it is snapshotting the rules that apply to the elements in the DOM at that width. So you can see here we've got one for 2000, uh, we've got one for uh, 1901, 1801, 1701. Uh, so let's try outputting that to a file. It looks like it worked. So do the same command and send it to output.html. So now if we go back over here, we'll see output.html pop up. And this is going to be a version of our HTML and our CSS that's been output that is uh, responsive. So this is using just CSS media queries. We wrote container queries, and now we're rendering just media queries. So there, when it is over 500, it goes line. Uh, I see in here I want to add padding 1m. So that looks good to me. Let's try that again, but minifying the output this time. So now if we go over to output, uh, before there were a whole bunch of these repeated. Now you can see everything's been kind of smooshed together and we still have our attributes. So this is still a working page. So that is one way that you can take a CSS style sheet, including container queries, apply them to HTML and render it in advance to flatten them to just HTML and CSS media queries that can be served in the browser without a JS runtime.